to 2019. If you could just let me know that you can hear me okay, that you can see the presentation deck on the screen, that would be awesome. There is a chat box that you can use. So if a couple of you could just type in there, let me know you can hear me okay, and then we will kick things off as soon as I've got confirmation from a few of you. We're good to go. Awesome. Todd, Lauren, Tom, Sean, hey, everyone, good to see all of you guys. So, uh, we will kick things off in a couple of minutes. I think what we'll do is we'll just hang around for one or two more minutes to see if any others join. Um, I know we changed, we changed the time slightly this week because of time zone changes and clock changes. So I just want to give a couple more minutes in case anybody is going to try and like tune in or as realize that the time has changed for a second because usually we have a few more people on these webinars as well. So we'll kick things off in a couple of minutes, but whilst we are waiting, um, whilst we're waiting, why don't you guys let me know if this is your first time on one of these webinars or if you've been on one of these webinars before and also let me know if you're currently a Promo Republic customer or not. That would be really great too. Yes, Sean, you are correct. We haven't posted or I haven't posted a podcast episode for a little while now. We're actually working on working on relaunching that at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you here. So this is your first time on one of these webinars, which is awesome. I think we've now done over 20 of these every two weeks. We run one of these webinars. Um, I, I usually keep count, but I think we're, like, I, I've lost count. We've done so many of these now. So <laughs> Tom is currently a customer, first time on the webinar. Sean is a promo customer, which is awesome. Are you guys uh, like standard Promo Republic customers, agency agency customers? So Todd says, permanent fixture, haven't missed one in months. Todd, that's awesome to hear. I'm glad that you've been enjoying this, this series so far. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I think we'll kick things off because I don't want to waste anybody's time. And I also think today's webinar will probably be a little bit shorter than normal as well, and I'll explain why in a second, but let's just jump straight into things. So today we're going to be talking about some of my key takeaways from Social Media Marketing World 2019 and tying those into how these can help you grow your agency and grow your, grow your business. So today we'll be covering what was, what is Social Media Marketing World 2019, five key agency growth takeaways, and then at the end of this webinar we'll be doing a Q&A session as well. And if you do hang around to the very end of the webinar, I also have something pretty cool that I'm going to share with you guys and I'll let you know how you can get access to this, but I'll be sharing a free resource which will be a pack of over 60 tools that can help you as an agency owner or as a freelancer kind of grow your business, move your business forward. So there's things within lead generation, outreach, personal branding, proposals, time management, operations, loads and loads of stuff. So I'll let you know at the end of this webinar. If you stick around to the end, I'll let you know how you can get access to that and how you can um, how you can claim that. Okay. So a few of you said it was your first time on one of these webinars. So I'll introduce myself very quickly and also introduce the kind of Promo Republic Agency and Freelancer Academy to you and let you know what these webinars are all about, why we do them, etc. So my name is Dylan Hay. I am also, like many of you, a digital marketing agency owner. So I actually own my own agency. I launched my business in May of 2018. And my agency now focuses specifically on doing paid acquisition campaigns for SaaS and software companies. That's our number one focus right now. In the past, I did offer social media management as a service too. Uh, but right now, the number one focus is paid ads for SaaS businesses. Uh, previous to setting up on my own, I actually worked for companies like Hootsuite, Leadfeeder, uh, of course, I've done some great work with Promo Republic and a number of other really cool and exciting businesses. As uh, as Sean picked up, we also have a podcast which is called the Social Media Growth Show. Although there hasn't been an episode go out live on there for a couple months now, we're actually working on on rebranding that. But when that podcast first launched, that was uh, ranking as high as number 11 in the iTunes uh, business charts, which was really cool. And as you can see here, my work's been picked up by a number of different websites. So I am um, I am not a full-time employee of Promo Republics. I am good friends with the team. I work with them a lot. I respect what they're doing and I'm a huge evangelist for Promo Republic. And I was chosen and asked to lead their agency and freelancer academy. So last year Promo Republic released a new version or a new platform on their products specifically for agency owners and freelancers. So a specific version of Promo Republic called the agency solution. And when they decided to launch that, one of the big parts of this launch was 
they wanted to make sure that they were the number one resource, the number one thought leader in helping other agency owners and building a community with you guys. And they asked me if I could help them with that. So we have this agency and freelancer academy. And basically this is a collection of a community. We have a great Facebook group that you can go ahead and join. If you just search for agency and freelancer academy on Facebook, you'll find it. We do these webinars. So I do two of these webinars a month now. We organize a number of online summits. So a couple months ago, we did an online summit where we had 16 speakers from lots of huge agencies and other interesting companies. That was split over two days, focusing on how you can grow your agency and how you can deliver better results for your clients. Uh, we put out a really high volume of really exciting, interesting, helpful blog posts, etc., guides, resources, all that kind of cool stuff. So that's what the Agency and Freelancer Academy is all about. That's a quick little introduction to myself for any of you who haven't been on these webinars before. And the way these webinars are structured is they are always extremely value focused, value packed. Uh, I'll always do a Q&A at the end and answer some questions for you. And uh, typically, like every so often we'll bring a guest on. I'll show you a couple insights into the agency platform of Prime Republic 2, but it won't be like a full scale demo or anything, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, but today's webinar is going to be slightly different. It's probably going to be slightly shorter than usual. Uh, and that's because we're focusing specifically on five key takeaways I took from social media marketing world. So uh, before we get into those, we will start to just go into what is social media marketing world. How many of you on this webinar have heard about social media marketing world, have attended social media marketing world? Uh, how many of you have heard this term before or seen this term before? And were any of you there last week in in San Diego. That would be also really cool to see. Okay, cool. So Todd has been a virtual attendee multiple times. Tom was there. John was there. Crystal knows what it is. That's awesome. So Tom and Joanne, did I get to meet you or did you get to meet any of the Premier Republic team at Social Media Marketing World last week? That would be really cool if we did. <laughs> and apologies if I did meet you and I don't remember. I met so many people last week. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> so for anyone that doesn't know, what is social media marketing world? So these are a few pictures. Uh, oh, awesome. So Tom, Tom met the team at the meetup. I think I remember you, you were there with your dad, right? Or maybe your son. I can't remember which. You were both called Tom, as far as I, as far as I recall. I hope so. I hope I've got that right. Yeah, OK, awesome. So for anyone that doesn't know, like these are a couple of pictures from social media marketing world that we captured, that we took. So this is essentially like the biggest event uh, the biggest in-person event specifically covering social media marketing. So there were a huge number of the world's leading speakers, influencers, agency owners, freelancers, all kinds of people that are interested in social media marketing were attending this event. And this is in San Diego. It's put on every single year. It was over three days, I believe. I think it was three days. And basically, each day, they're split into a number of really great, useful, insightful keynote talks, uh, as well as there's like networking areas, roundtable discussions, loads of great stuff. And so we were there, Premier Republic with Social Media Marketing World last week. Uh, there's also a couple of meetups that go on. So we organized two different meetups for agency owners. That's where I met Tom, who's here on this webinar, which is really cool. Um, and we also, like the Premier Republic team, had a booth at the event, so they were one of the sponsors of the event, and I also attended to host a number of interviews, as you can see here on the screen. So I was spending a couple of days going around the event, meeting other speakers, um, people that were on the keynote stage, on the smaller stages, and the reason I was doing this is because we're working on this really great content piece for all of you. Uh, I interviewed, I think, like 18 or 19 of the speakers, and I asked them all a very similar question. So I was trying to find out there are one or two biggest tips that they can share with you all to help you grow your agency or your freelancer business. So we did like a load of interviews. They were like each one was maybe two or three minutes long, some were a little bit longer. Right now the team are working on like editing those, putting them together, and over the coming few days, few weeks, we'll be sharing all of those videos with you all as well as some blog posts and some other insightful stuff from the event. But what we thought would be a really good idea is to cover on today's webinar five of these like takeaways that I picked up from some of these people that I can share with you guys that maybe you can go away and implement or you can try out that might help you grow your business or like five things that these guys are recommending that you focus on. So that's what we're going to be covering today. That's why 
the webinar may be slightly shorter because this isn't like super, super in-depth covering one specific topic like these webinars usually are, but I still think there's going to be a ton of value for all of you here. That's why we put these together. That is the number one focus. So who is ready? Who wants to get into these takeaways? If you're looking forward to this, if you want to find out more about these, give me a yes in the chat box. I want to make sure that you guys are all super engaged and ready to go because I like to make sure these webinars are like two ways. I don't want to just talk at you for half an hour or however long it might take. I want to make sure that everybody else is involved too. Awesome. So we have Natalie, Todd, Joanne, Jill, someone who put their name as hello has said yes as well. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's get into things. This is the first tip and this is, I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by this. This in the picture is myself and my friend Gavin, Gavin Bell. So some of you may remember Gavin actually spoke at our last online summit and he was also at the, at the event, the Social Media Marketing World. He runs a Facebook ads agency as well as speaking all around the world now on social media marketing, Facebook ads, content creation. We did a whole webinar. I think it was like nearly an hour and a half or two hours long. We did a webinar talking about how you can create better, better video content. So if any of you want to learn more about that, please go ahead and check out the previous webinars. I'll actually just quickly get the, um, the link for you to the Agency and Freelancer Academy because I think you'll find this interesting for anyone, for anyone who hasn't been here before. So I'm just going to paste the link in the chat box for the Academy like landing page on the Primary Republic website there. If you sign up, you'll be able to find previous webinars, interviews, the community, all that great stuff. So let's get into this tip. Number one from Gavin is implement a power hour. How many of you guys know what this means or have heard this term before? I'm interested to see if anyone else has this in the business, if anyone else recognizes this term. So Todd says he does. Joanne, no. Crystal, no. Okay. So my next question is, how many of you frequently get people asking you if they can pick your brains for 20 minutes or if they can take you out for a coffee to discuss something or if they can jump on a call with you? Yeah, so Crystal says all the time. Todd says me. So when I first started my agency as well, I used to get this a lot, and especially because of my personal brand and the content that I post, I, I get people doing this a lot, like asking me if they can pick my brains, if they can speak to me, and I love giving people advice. I love helping people. I love supporting people, um, but when it gets to a certain level, you have to start to become, you have to start to become almost a bit more selfish with your time, because if you help everybody, if you jump on with everyone that asks to jump on a call, or if you agree to have your brain picked by everyone that asks to do that, soon your calendar will be completely packed with calls. And when I first started taking them, I thought it was a good thing having all of these calls because I was convinced that these people would become clients of mine. But what I found out is actually a lot of these people do just want some, some free advice. And I know a lot of you will have had this in the past too. So my good friend Gavin shared this tip with me actually like two years ago now. He said to launch a power hour. So what Gavin does, what I do is I have a power hour available online and um, basically what this means is somebody can can have a conversation with me for one hour but they have to pay for that hour and they have to schedule it in so if anyone now asks to pick my brain if it's something really quick then I'll give them an answer but if they ask to pick my brain or ask for a call I will send them the link to my power hour like booking area and there they can schedule a time they can learn more about what my power hour is they can answer some questions and they can pay for it and this has been awesome of course I have a lot less calls now and some people don't like that I'm asking me and that's totally fine um, but a lot of people will take up this offer and a lot of those people that do take up the offer they'll usually do it because maybe they're not ready to become a client of yours just yet they don't have the budget right now um, but in the future they're very likely to come back if they've already invested something with you once you've got someone to pay you some money it's a lot easier to get them to pay you more money again in the past so Jill says the price should be relative to agency programs question mark Jill I'm not entirely sure what that means I guess it should be relative like the way I structure things I just have an hourly rate I never do any pricing by the hour ever apart from my power hour so I'm actually always like changing the price of this I think Gavin's is like two hundred and ninety seven dollars or something um, mine I change the price depending on how busy I am and whether or not I actually want to do them um, so right now I think mine is like I, I probably wouldn't do it for less than five hundred dollars four nine seven I would structure it as just because I kind of want to put people off a little bit uh, so yeah, as Todd says, people take him more seriously with the power hour too. So this is a really great way to 
um, to increase revenue coming into business as well. Gavin told me in the last couple of years he's made tens of thousands of dollars just from his power hours. Um, but it's also a good way to get testimonials because you'll give someone a ton of uh, a ton of value. Uh, there's there's loads of powerful reasons for this. So Crystal, yeah. So it really depends on I guess your experience, your brand. I'm able to command higher charges because of my audience, my experience, my results. And uh, yeah, I like for me, it's not worth having a call with someone for an hour for a hundred dollars just based on how I value my time. So Joanne, the power hour is just for one person. Like one person will book it. So everyone can do the pricing the way they like it. Gavin is really well respected. He's very experienced, and his is 297, I believe. Maybe if you check it out, if you just Google Gavin Bell Power Hour, you'll be able to see you'll be able to see his. Um, and I say, yeah. So you can you can structure it how you want. If you want groups, then that's also it's also fine. It's totally up to you. It's just a recommendation from me. Is I I think this is something really useful. People don't talk about this very often. And this was Gavin's one biggest tip when I interviewed him, and I thought this would be awesome for a lot of you. Okay, so let's get into number two. Now this one was interesting. So this chap here, Dan Knowlton, Daniel Knowlton, he was a speaker at the event. He was talking about Twitter, but he's become very well known for video content. His agency has grown very quickly over the last couple of years, and he's a speaker, an international speaker now too. So I asked him for his biggest tip, and he said, unfortunately, I can't just give you one tip. And this was interesting. So he said there is no there is no silver bullet. There's no one thing, in his opinion, that you can do that's going to help you rapidly grow and accelerate your business. And I agree with him to a level. Uh, Dan says that a lot of people spend so much time focusing on the one shiny object, like they're just going to go away and build out a chatbot, or they're going to start recording live video, or they'll, they'll do these little experiments here and there. But for Dan, he says the way that he's been able to grow his business so much in the last couple of years is through having this overarching strategy that combines a number of different areas. So for Dan, that is his the content that him and his team put out, his speaking engagements, he's really focused on his networking, uh, lots of other stuff. So Dan's like suggestion and tip is actually don't just look for one small thing to implement. Make sure everything that you're doing ties in together. So Dan's like marketing funnel to bring in clients for his agency isn't just his ads that he's running or his content that he's doing, it's everything, all the different touch points. And we've talked about this on webinars before when we've said that you need like between, I think it's seven and 12 touch points for someone before they're ready to purchase something from you. And so Dan's advice is to be, is to make sure you have multiple different touch points in different areas that you can get in front of people and help them out. So I thought that one was really interesting as well. Speaking with Dan was great and I can't wait to share his uh, his interview with uh, with all of you guys. Okay, so number three. First of all, before we get into tip number three, how incredible is this guy's beard that he has? Right, this is insane. So this is a guy called Jeff C. Jeff was uh, was also a speaker at the event, as are all of these people that we're going to be talking about. And so with Jeff, like he was actually thinking about live video at the event, I believe. But when I asked him for his tip, we went down a slightly different route. And Jeff started to share with me the importance of content distribution. A lot of people at Social Media Marketing World, the kind of big overarching popular topic with a lot of keynote speakers was how content is king and content is really important in 2019. And if you ask me, that's like super simple advice. I get it. Of course, it's important. Um, but Jeff and I would start talking about something that a lot of people don't necessarily cover and have probably forgotten about, and that is content distribution. So how many of you have clients? You're doing social media management for them. You're creating content, sharing it on social. Maybe you're doing blog posts. How many of you create content for your clients? I want to find that out first. Let me know in the, uh, in the chat box. Okay, so Todd does, Robin does, Natalie does. Joanne, content writer, Amir, yes, Adolfo. Okay, great. So lots of you create content. Now, how many of you spend a lot of time creating that content and then you post the content and then you don't ever do anything with it afterwards? You post it and then you leave it. I, I, some of you probably won't admit to that, but I know that a ton of you will. So Jeff and I were talking about how we spend, as marketers, social media marketers, uh, and even our like when we're doing this for our own agencies, we will spend a ton of time creating this great content, we'll then share it once, 
and will never do anything with it again. I can see a load of you say that. So um, that's typical, right? And it's a shame, but it is typical. A lot of people are doing that. And Jeff and I talked about how not only is that like a waste of time, but actually there's ways that we can save time and still be more consistent with our content. And that's when Jeff started talking about his content distribution strategy. And it's very similar, what he shared with me in this interview is very similar to the Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk content distribution strategy. So if you haven't heard about that, if you haven't checked that out, please do me a favor and Google the Gary V content distribution strategy. And Gary V shares like a 60 page presentation about how he creates and distributes his content. But essentially the, the high level version of this is, and this is what Jeff talked about, is how instead of creating tons of small pieces of content without any real solid idea or ways to reshare them, Jeff focuses on creating a couple of pieces of pillar content. So that could be like a big blog post, maybe a video, a podcast, an interview, something like that. And then dissecting these into lots of other smaller pieces of content and then consistently distributing them across social. So breaking them up, distributing them, but then reusing them and resharing them because they're always going to be valuable and using those pieces to drive traffic back to the bigger piece of content. Does that make sense? Let me know if that if that makes sense because I kind of waffled a little bit there, I know, but this is something that is really important to cover and I think it's something that is going to help a ton of you out. I try and talk about this a lot because a lot of us have issues with this. Okay, cool. So Robin says that you're currently working on this. Joanne makes sense. Crystal, yes. Okay, cool. So the only like setback with this is that it can take, especially if you're managing multiple clients, <clears throat> excuse me, especially if you're managing multiple clients, it can take a lot of time to reschedule or reuse content. That's one thing. Uh, but it can also take a lot of time to create high volumes of content quickly on the go. How many of you you have problems with doing that as you're managing maybe multiple clients and sometimes it's hard to, to create a ton of a ton of stuff right and reschedule it and reuse it I'm interested to see and whilst that's happening I'm actually just going to open up a screen and share with you all so I want to give you a couple I'd like we will talk a little bit about promo Republic on this um, on this webinar too just just very shortly so yeah, Bill says we need to take advantage of our teams. Joanna says yeah, or Joanne even. So how many of you can see my screen? Can you see it right now? Just let me know. I'm just going to show you something really quick that I think will be interesting for you. Okay, great. So a number of you said you're currently Promo Republic customers. Some of you will be, some of you won't be. Some of you will be Promo Republic customers, but you won't be agency level customers. So what we're looking at right now is actually the Promo Republic dashboard, but at the agency level at the agency solution. So one of the great things about the agency solution of Promo Republic is that it's completely white labeled. You can completely white label this. Now the white label you're seeing, the reason it's pink and it has a lava in the top left hand corner is because when we decided to put this together, this was for the webinar that we did on Valentine's Day and the team thought it'd be funny to give me this white labeled version. So uh, you can have this branded up with your company colors, your company branding, logo, all that kind of stuff. And what I actually want to show you is just a couple of ways that you can use Promo Republic to not only like save yourself time and quickly create content, but also to communicate better with your clients, okay? Because that's something that's really important. We did a survey last year and found out that like 76% or 72% of agency owners said that their biggest pain point was communicating better with their clients, like they, their client communication and collaboration was not good. So we want to work on improving that and helping you guys out with that. Now, how many of you, when you're creating content for your clients, maybe you're creating stuff to repurpose or you're just creating content in general, how many of you are actually currently using something like Canva or Adobe Spark or a graphic designer even and then you are downloading that content onto your computer and then heading over to um, heading over to like Buffer or Hootsuite or something like that and scheduling it in? How many of you are doing that? Yeah, so Crystal does Canva, she's so much work. Yeah, okay, so I know that a few of you will be doing that. So one of the great things about Promo Republic, one of the ways that it can save you a ton of time is that you no longer have to worry about using something like Canva, Adobe Spark, anything like that, downloading it to your computer, then going to your scheduling tool and uploading it. Um, and also you don't have to worry a ton about, depending on your clients, you don't have to worry about needing a ton of graphic designers anymore or anything like that because 
directly within Promo Republic, we have two sections I want to show you. So this post ideas library. So in here, there are over 100,000 post ideas, and these are updated every single month. So you can see we can um, we can actually sort these. So for example, I could even search. So uh, let's search for what what kind of businesses are you working with? Are any of you working with local businesses, restaurants, maybe? Let's go for restaurants. Automotive as well. Okay, so I've just done a search for restaurants, right? And you can see that for restaurants, we have 30 nine suggested templates right now and these are social posts that you can just use immediately and you can edit them you can change them etc but this is how you can come up with ideas really really fast and create something really quickly we also have stock photos that you can leverage and use as well articles all this kind of stuff but to show you how this works let's say we want to do this free cocktail offer so we click on this the tweet or the social post is pre-written for us we can just go in and change it as we like and fill it in and then the image we can actually edit and completely change or do what we want with it. So if you're managing multiple clients, you can save their brand guidelines in here and use their brand guidelines. You can change everything around. So this section is just like Canva, Adobe Spark, any of the tools you can edit
Hello, everybody. I think I had some uh, some issues over click me. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Okay, you can. Awesome. Okay, everyone. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Like we every so often we seem to have some issues with click meeting, which kind of sucks. But hey, look, we'll 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 get through this. Okay. So let me just bring the presentation deck back onto the screen, and I'll get back to the screen sharing. So what I was about to show you is uh, the. Let me just bring this up real fast. I was about to show you the fact that with Promo Republic, specifically on the agency solution, you can actually start to collaborate much better with your clients. So let me just bring this onto a separate dashboard, and in a couple seconds, we should be good. Okay, if you can see the Promo white label dashboard again, and then we'll try we'll try one more time. If it cuts out again, we'll just go back to the normal normal webinar. Yeah, thank you, Todd. I appreciate everyone for hanging around too. I can see the audience size drops like 10 people, but hey, there's nothing we can do about that. So once you've created one of those posts in the editor, like I showed you, one of the great things we can do is we can actually, instead of just scheduling the post, we can schedule the post for approval. Yes, Mark, there will be a replay. Um, so let's say we've created a post. I'm just going to do test here because I don't want to go through all that again. But if you see over here on the right-hand side, we have the schedule option. We have the publish now. We have add to queue. But what's great, especially if you're running agencies and you need to collaborate better with your clients and you don't want to be going backwards and forwards on email, you don't want to be doing Google Docs, Google Sheets, all that messy stuff, you can propose this post for approval. And what you'll see happen is if you do that, we can select the date. And the other thing is, if you remember we were talking about content distribution, we can repeat this post. So we can recycle this post every like seven days, eight days, whatever you want to do, which is great. But then we've scheduled it for approval. So you'll see the post appears like this. And your client will be alerted. They can come in to the white labeled version of the platform. They can see the posts that you want to schedule. They can approve them. They can add comments to them. They can delete them. They can edit them slightly. And this is a much, much, much better way of collaborating with your clients and um, not having to do that, that messy backwards and forwards on, uh, on email. So this is one of the huge benefits of the agency solution of Primary Republic this collaboration platform, the white labeling. We also have much more in-depth reporting and analytics that are available to people on the white labeled and agency specific solution. And there's a ton of other like great stuff in here as well. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second though because I don't want this to become a full scale demo of Promo Republic. I said to you all that we're here to provide you with value on these webinars. That is our our number one focus. So what you can do, what I'm going to do right now, and please let me know if this works, there should be a button that is appearing on the screen right now. And if you want to find out a little bit more about the Promo Republic agency solution, if you have some questions about it, you want to talk to someone about it, what you can do is actually use that button to schedule a call. And that is going to be with someone in the like partnerships, the sales team at Promo Republic. But don't worry, they're not going to like massively hassle you and push you on the phone or anything like that. They're here to show you the platform, guide you around, answer any questions you have. And anyone that actually books a call with the team using this link, you'll get a special discount offered on the price. And as well as that, you're going to get access to um, the resources sheet that I'm going to show you later on in the webinar. And anyone that goes on to become a customer, so anyone that uses this link to book a call and they become an agency customer, you will also get a free 15 minute or maybe 30 minute, depending on how nice I'm feeling, one-to-one -one consulting session with myself. And as I told you earlier on, I'm charging like 497 for an hour. so. And that's a, that's a pretty good deal as well. So if anyone does want to find out more, please go ahead, use that button, check it out, book in a call with the team. There are limited like amount of calls that they can take on. We limit this to five people from each webinar. So if you do want to find out more and get that discount potentially, um, please go ahead and schedule a call now. I will share the link one more time further on in the webinar. Um, but after like five calls have been booked in, it will shut down and it will stop working. So. Uh, so please go ahead and schedule if you do. Can you just let me know? Can someone let me know that that button is appearing? You don't have to like tell me that you're going to book a call. I'm not going to pressure you. But if someone could let me know that it's working, that would be awesome. OK, cool. It is. It worked. Great. Sweet. OK, perfect. So let's go on to tip number four, because that tip number three took a little bit longer than I thought with the tip that we had too. So apologies about that. Number four, this is me interviewing Ian Anderson Gray. Ian was there talking all about video, live video. 
And uh, he told me this stat that I really loved. He said 80% of what we consume online will be video content by 2020. So 80% of everything that we consume online is going to be video content. Engagement levels, video is really heading towards live video being like essential being the number one place to, uh, to go. And I asked Ian like, okay, that's great. Video is great. We know that live video is powerful, but how can I convince my clients to use video? Because how many of you guys have a difficult time getting your clients to produce video and especially live video? Because I know a lot of people hate that kind of stuff. I want to see if any of you have tried this with your clients. How many of you have tried live video? How many of you have tried to get your clients to do video? Yeah, so Todd says it's really, really hard. Robin says it's difficult. Yeah, you're totally right. So Ian had a couple suggestions. Depending on, uh, depending on how nearby you are, like his first suggestion was to just go to the client and like not force them, but do it with them and help them. Uh, but Ian's most important suggestions that I think were most useful is if you can show the business owner or your client the power of video, if you can share with them statistics like the one I just shared with you and show them that most of their competitors or their competitors that are doing extremely well are doing video, if you can show the business owner the business like tangible benefit to doing video, it becomes a lot easier to get them to do it. And Ian's advice was to get them uh, initially to just start talking about topics that they know really well and understand really well. Or maybe if they're a local business, do like live Q and A's, a tour of their facility. Like there are lots and lots of different options that he suggested. And if you're an agency owner yourself and you're like approaching this from a client acquisition standpoint for you and your agency, me personally, I do a lot of live video. I do these webinars. I have my own Facebook group, which is called Six Figure Business Builders. If you want to check that out, that has like one and a half thousand members. We have the Promo Republic Agency and Freelancer Academy group. Like I'm always doing video, I'm always doing live video, and for me, that has been one great way of attracting more customers to my agency and to my business has been through the content that I produce. As long as you make sure that it's like valuable, helpful, useful content, then uh, you'll start to do really well with that. So that's one recommendation for you. Okay, so we're going to get on to the fifth and final tip, but please don't leave. Please hang around because if you wait until the end, first of all, we're going to do a Q&A. Uh, but before we do the Q&A, we will also, or I'm going to share with you a free, a free resource and share with you how you can get access to that free, to that free resource of over 60 different tools and tactics, etc. Deborah, I'm just posting the link in the chat. Six Figure Business Builders, uh, sixfigurebusinessbuilders.com. Just click that, you go to my Facebook group. So number five, tying in with groups, communities, etc. Uh, these two lovely women that I met, Goldie and um, and this other person here, we were talking about the importance of building community. Okay, this was an like another topic that came up a lot at the event was that it's not enough anymore to simply show up and post content. Maybe a couple years ago, that was fine. Like if you were active on social and you were sharing content, that was enough to stand out from your competition. But now it just simply isn't. And a lot of talks at the event were focused towards community building and I also personally think it's something that's really important. That's why I've been able to like build my agency and my business to the point where it is today and to land clients like Promo Republic and many others. Well through the communities that I've built through Facebook groups, through this community here, through my YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. And you can either replicate this for yourself and your agency or for your clients. This is something that's really, really important. Someone at the event was actually talking about how they just built like a number of groups for their local community and that fueled a lot of business for them and for their agency. Uh, there were people who run restaurants who were talking about building out like specifically like food groups in their communities to drive more people to their, to their restaurant. There are tons and tons of different options. Uh, but basically what I wanted to get at here is that community is something that is really, really important. And when you're creating your content for yourself or for your clients, I would really recommend that you focus on making that content somewhere that people want to come and spend time and engage on and hang out and make friends and meet other people and learn from rather than just posting content for the sake of posting content. As soon as you start thinking about your customers as a community and start trying to connect them and help them, um, I can pretty much guarantee that your revenues as a business are going to increase and the relationships that you build with people are going to be at a much deeper level as well. This is one huge, not change that I made recently because I've had my communities for a while now, but one thing that really helps drive my business forward and we're trying to replicate for our clients as well. So those are the five key tips. Now, before we get into the Q&A, I want to share a couple more things with you. 
and then share with you how you can get access to the resource of over 60 different tools for agency owners and freelancers. Um, but first, I just want to recap. I got to show you some of the agency solution of Promo Republic, but I just want to cover three like high-level areas about what it is, how it works, how it can help you and your business. So it was specifically designed to save time, help you serve more clients, and increase the efficiency of your agency. And we break that into three different key points, so the creation, the collaboration, and the reporting. So as you've seen with what I showed you, you should be able to create content and schedule content much faster. You can improve the collaboration with your clients like immediately through the collaboration platform, and it can make you and your business look way more professional too, with a white-labeled solution rather than Google Docs and Google Drive. And we have reporting built into this as well. So the graphics editor we covered, this is a great alternative to tools like Canva and Adobe Spark. Um, the collaboration platform, again, we covered, so you can communicate with all of your clients in one place. And the best thing is, all of your customers can have their own business profiles within Promo Republic, so you don't have to be constantly logging in, logging out, switching accounts. Everything can be separated. They can all have their own branding, um, their own posting schedules, all this kind of stuff. Um, so last thing on the agency solution, I know that some of you are going to ask me, okay, how does it stack up to others? If you remember at the start of the webinar, I actually said I used to work for Hootsuite, and I have great relationships there. I love Hootsuite. I love the team. Um, but if you're an agency owner, I genuinely believe, otherwise I wouldn't be working with them, I genuinely believe Promo Republic is the best option for you. Uh, you can see here on screen, this is how we, like, how we stack up Promo Republic against the others out there in terms of like what is available on Promo Republic. And we did this quick calculation. That said, for an agency that maybe manages 30 different social media accounts, and let's say they have a few team members and they want the white label and they want their clients to have access to the tool. Um, also, one other thing, it also comes, you can purchase an add-on to do uh, social media monitoring too, which is awesome. So if you wanted all of that stuff, you wanted to monitor mentions and hashtags of your clients, etc. If you chose Program Republic, you could save anywhere between $600 and $5,400 annually over the competition. That's just based on pricing. I constantly tell the team I think they should increase their prices. Um, the pricing is extremely, extremely affordable for the agency solution of Promo Republic. And if you book using the link I shared earlier on, you can actually um, get a discount on the pricing again. So just bear that in mind. I am going to share the link one more time for you for the next like five minutes. I'll share it on the screen. But as I said, there are only five places available for those calls. So please go ahead and schedule one fairly quickly. Uh, but yeah, this is how you can see it stacks up to the competition and to the other tools that are available on the market. Now, before we get into the Q&A, I actually just want to share, show you, I want to show you this, this resource, and then I want to tell you how you can access this. So I'm just going to share my screen again. If you will bear with me for two seconds, I will share the screen with you. Let's just close the presentation real quick. Okay, so let's go here. So I should be able to share the video in a second. Okay. So if you can all just let me know when you see the screen, it should be any time. So let me know if you can see this. It should be a Google Drive sheet. Yep, awesome. So this is a free resource. There's over 60 tools here broken into lead generation, personal branding, outreach, proposals, storage, time management, operations, hiring, automation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Look at all of these different tools along with descriptions, links, pricing. So anyone who would like access to this sheet, we're giving this to everybody who schedules a call with the team to learn a bit of a little bit more about the agency solution of Promo Republic. But you do have to show up to the call as well. So you can't just book a call to get this and then not show up. Like if you book a call, you chat with the team, learn a bit more about the agency solution, the team will then share this file with you. So if you want this, um, you can use that link, the button that's appearing now, and you can use that to uh, to book onto a call with the team. Okay, so let's uh, let's get to the Q and A. That's all that I had left for today's webinar. So I have around about ten minutes, and then I will have to leave because I actually am about to go and get on a flight to Singapore, which I'm super excited about. So I need to get to the airport. Um, but let's let's do Q and A. Who has who has questions for me? It can be anything related to uh, agency growth, personal being, social media marketing. If you have product questions about Promo Republic. I would do my very best to answer them for you. 
Uh, but if I can't, then you, I will redirect you to the team. Okay, so Robin, when will Instagram posting be live? Yes, Robin, we got that question a lot at Social Media Marketing World. So I spoke with Max, the co-founder of Promo Republic, and um, basically when the particular like scandal happened, Facebook shut down all uh, all new applications and all access. We are in talks. Promo are in talks with the team there. Uh, they've been told that it's going to be opening up again soon. But in terms of frames, I can't give you an exact time frame. They said it could be within the next few months, but that was all they uh, all they all they gave. So I can't make a promise. Hopefully it'll be soon. But the team are working on it. They're in constant communication with the team at Facebook. Okay, Deborah asks how much. So Deborah, I put the thing back on the screen. It starts from $99 per month. Um, but if you talk with the team, they'll be able to give you more depth. It depends on number of accounts and a few other bits and pieces. Crystal, yes, it can handle 100 accounts. It can handle unlimited accounts. Um, we have clients that are leveraging a lot of accounts. So yeah, Robin, yes, approval workflows only on the agency level of the platform. So Crystal, if, uh, if you have over 100 accounts and you are interested in finding out a bit more, Make sure you use that button to schedule a call if you haven't done so already, because the team will be able to like show you everything and walk you through it and answer questions too. But yeah, we do have um, we do have clients that are managing high volume accounts like that, so you won't be alone. Okay. So Robin says, just to clarify, Instagram is on the chart but doesn't currently work. So it's on the chart. It does work, Robin, um, but you can't. So with Instagram, what happens is when you schedule something. It then sends a when it when the post is ready to go out, it sends a post notification like a push notification to your phone to an app, and you have to confirm the post in the app. That's the way that pretty much 75, 80 percent of the social media scheduling tools are having to do things right now. So I hope that clarifies. So you can use it for posting Instagram. It's just not super smooth, but it's uh, it's very similar to a lot of others. Yeah, so Hootsuite has that functionality. They do, you're right, but not everybody. It all depends on how soon you got access to it. Okay, so um, like we were in the process of going through the application and getting everything sorted when the Cambridge Analytica scandal happened, and that stopped stopped everything in its tracks. Facebook stopped accepting new integration partners at that time. So some are lucky enough to have it, but most don't. Hootsuite originally, when I used to work there a year or two years ago, maybe even three years ago now. Hootsuite had the like push notification on your phone thing as well, but I know they managed to get get their approval through faster. Joanne, uh, mm, I don't think so about a Chrome app. I don't think so. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Awesome, Crystal. That's great. No problem. So yeah, I'm happy to hang around and answer questions. I know we still have like 22 people, 20 now on this webinar. So if you guys do need support with anything or have any questions, please feel free to uh, to go ahead and ask away because I am happy to happy to help for a couple more minutes. If you don't have any questions, though, if you're going to be leaving, thank you for joining us today. I hope you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope to see you on another webinar soon as well. And hopefully I'll be speaking to a few of you as um, as like a one-to-one -one consulting call. Because hopefully some of you will book onto a call, you'll become a customer of the agency solution, and we can jump on a call together. So Mark says, what was step one and two? So do you mean like tips one and two, Mark? So number one was the implementing a power hour. Yeah, implementing a power hour was number one, and number two was that there is no silver bullet. You have to build out an overarching strategy combining lots of different elements. I mean, that's a very good question. Like, infinite, I believe. Like, there is no to how far ahead you can schedule. The power hour. Yeah, of course it can, Mark. I mean, there wasn't a ton of information in the bullet points on the slide. It was just saying that my friend Gavin had done this, made tens of thousands, and that many people who purchase the Power Hour go on to become retained clients. Yes, Jamie, there will be a replay, so go ahead and sign up. Let me just get a link for you. So we have the Agency and Freelancer Academy section on the Promo Republic website, and if you sign up there, you'll then get access to all of the replays, etc. So I'm just going to drop the link for you.
there's the link in the chat. How frequently should I recycle a LinkedIn post? Amir. So when I say recycle, I don't really recommend just reposting the same thing over and over again. You can do that once or twice. But when I say recycle, I mean like restructure it, reuse it. So change up the copy a little bit, change up the image maybe. Um, you can recycle it until it, like, you run out of ideas of how to do that. <laughs> so Mark, yeah, the power hour, uh, I don't have enough time really to go over it in depth again. So check out the replay, but essentially for everyone who asked you to, uh, to book a call, to pick your brain, to have coffee with you, you set up a power hour where it's a paid one hour and you give them advice on that call. That's like really short. I would recommend checking out Gavin's power hour page. Let me just find it for you actually. And you'll get a really good idea of what it's like because Gavin has done this really well. Let me just get the link for you. If you give me two seconds, I will be able to post it in the chat. Here we go. So if you take a look in the chat now, here is a link to Gavin Bell's Power Hour. Jamie, can we post on all social platforms at the same time? Yep. Okay, does anybody else have any other questions? I have a couple more minutes and then I'm going to have to um, have to leave. Okay, nothing else in the chat box. Okay, everyone, well, look, thank you so much for everyone who did join us on this session today. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it interesting. And... Um, I will hopefully see you all again very soon on another one of these webinars or on some of our other content pieces. Jamie, no, that isn't a way to save the, uh, the chat box, I don't think. No. But yeah, thank you everyone for joining us and I'm looking forward to seeing you again on the next webinar. It will be in a couple of weeks' time. We'll put the announcement up on the Academy page very, very soon. So yeah, thanks everyone and I will speak to you all again very, very soon.